let us discuss this problem so we have a circuit this circuit is given to you there is a capacitance c for this circuit, this capacitor this also has a capacitor of capacitance c and there is a resistor of resistance r initially this capacitor is charged with a potential difference v not so this means initially it has a charge q not that is c times v not are you getting or not so let us say let me make the diagram so if i so the circuit again so this circuit is simply you have a here is a resistor so this is the resistor and this side you have a capacitor and here also you have a capacitor so let me write here so this is the capacitor you have so this side also you have a capacitor and initially this capacitor is charged and there is a circuit this circuit is initially this circuit is open are you getting or not and after some time what we are doing is this we are closing this circuit so initially this is charged with potential difference v not let us say up is positive and down is negative so initial charge on this capacitor of capacitance c is basically q not is equals to c times v not are you getting or not so let us call this is a capacitor number one and this is a capacitor number two so this is the charge initial charge on capacitor number one so i can write so this is basically initial charge so this is your initial charge on capacitor one are you getting or not on capacitor one now if you just close the circuit what will happen now this charge will try to go into this register and it will flow and it will flow through this capacitor and finally it will complete a circuit are you getting or not so you see uh, this charge basically trying to charge this capacitor and this is discharge so this is a case of discharging of this capacitor but charging of this capacitor so both are happening in the same time and this is the register so you can say this is a case where charging and discharging both are happening so in this case discharging so i can write so discharging and charging and charging both are taking place are getting so both are taking place simultaneously now only thing is i have to write down the equation and then i have to solve let us say at any time t this has a charge q that the q charge has been flown so this will have q not minus q charge are you getting or not so let me show you the charge again so you have the circuit again so this is your register and there is a capacitor you have so this capacitor and this circuit is now closed so you have circuit is closed now and now there is a capacitor so this capacitor is here this is c this is c and the current is flowing something like this so after some time this has a charge q not minus q so q charge has already flown and this has a charge q so this is a plus charge this is a plus charge this is a minus charge this is a minus charge and this is the direction of flow now i can apply kirchhoff law to write circuit equation so if i want to write circuit equation if i go from this point let us call this point as a this point as a point b this point as point c this point as this c is not capacitor and this point is point d are you getting or not let us say if i write so if i go from a to b there is increase in potential and that is q by c and q is nothing but q not minus q by c and there is a decrease in resistance potential due to resistance that is minus i times r and this is again there is a decrease i finally i am going this in negative initial is positive so this is minus q by c and now i have landed up to point a so this is zero now if i write the same thing so i will have q not by c minus 2q by c is equals to i r are you getting or not so you see and now dq by dt i can write this is equals to i so dq by dt this is equals to i are you getting so this is the rate by which current is increasing so as time progress q increases a small q increases 
i also increases so the dq by dt is positive so if q increases with time so dq is positive dt is also positive this is a positive number so i have find with the sign now i have to integrate this one so now i will have q not minus 2q this is equals to rc and i is nothing but dq by dt now i can write this as dq divided by q not minus 2q and this is i have to integrate rc or 1 by rc no rc simply into dt rc so this will i will have this and to dt divided by rc you check yourself so this is dt divided by rc are you getting so this is dt divided by rc now if you integrate from t equals to 0 at t equals to 0 there is no q has been flowed are you getting one so q what is the limit so q t equals to 0 is 0 q after some time this is q so this is 0 at t is equals to 0 after some time this is q so this integration is minus ln q minus 2 q not minus 2 q and I have to divide by this is minus is coming because of this and I have to divide by 2 also let me write here 1 by 2 so this is 1 by 2 is coming of the coefficient and I have to integrate from 0 to q and this is equals to simply t by rc are you getting now if I see so if I take 2 that side so I will have ln q naught minus 2 q and this divided by when q is q and q is 0 is q naught is equals to minus 2t by rc so i can write q naught minus so things are easy now q naught minus 2q is equals to q naught e to the power minus 2t by rc so i can get q naught q basically so 2q is equals to q naught 1 minus e to the power minus 2t by rc so e to the power minus 2t by rc now so q is what q is q naught by 2 1 minus e to the power minus 2t by rc so this is the value of q at any time if somebody asks what is the current so you have to simply differentiate this is q naught by 2 and q naught is c v naught I have written initially so q naught is basically c v naught divided by 2 and then I have to differentiate differentiation of 1 is 0 and e to the power minus x is e to the power minus x then I have to write coefficient so minus minus plus so this is 2 by rc and e to the power minus 2 t by rc so this is the current you will have are you getting or not I can write in a better way so this is i is equals to 2 2 goes v naught by r e to the power minus 2 t by r c so simply you see uh, basically time constant has been changed so now time constant is 2 t by r c that is time constant is 2 by r c are you getting r c is not time constant r c by 2 is the time constant so if you have a r c circuit time constant is r c for a normal r c circuit time constant is r c but now the time constant is r c by 2 so one can remember this result if you have a case charging as well as discharging it has to be half because charging and discharging both are happening through the one register so it looks like one can expect it has to be half it's an average kind of thing second part of the question says calculate the heat generated through the through the register this is easy to calculate heat and heat is i square r so let us discuss b part heat is generated so we have to calculate heat is generated are you getting or not and heat is generated is nothing but i square r dt integral now what is i square r and this is from 0 to infinity that will give total heat generated let us say total heat is q so this is v naught r square and this is e to the power minus 4 t by r c and i have to integrate this 0 to infinity and multiply by r so let us take outside and into dt 
so this becomes v not a square by r and e to the power minus 4t by r c dt 0 to infinity now if you integrate this one what will have you will have v not a square by r and integration of e to the power minus x is e to the power minus x everybody knows and then you have to divide by the coefficient coefficient is minus 4 by r c and then you have to integrate this limit up to 0 to infinity are you getting or not so if you do this what you will have you will have v not a square by r and this r c by 4 goes here and minus you can also take common and then if you take infinity then 0 when you take 0 this is minus 1 so this becomes minus minus plus 1 so this is simply v not a square uh, this is r square it was r square so this is uh, no it's r only so v not a square so r r goes so we will have c v not a square by 4 so you see 1 fourth of 1 fourth into c v not a square this is the amount of heat that is generated what is the initial amount so initially one capacitor was charged so initial energy is So initial energy you have that is half C V not a square. So this means finally you have this is loss. So what is the a stored energy now you have? Now a stored energy you should have this is equals to this minus this that is 1 by 4 C V not a square. And this has to have divided equally into these two capacitors. So what is the energy the initial capacitor have now so initial capacitor initial capacitor will have capacitor will have will have an energy of an energy that is equals to 1 by 8 cv not a square are you getting or not what is the percentage loss of energy 50 percent Q is the 1 by 4 C V not a square initially this. So percentage loss of energy. So percentage loss somebody can calculate. Percentage loss of energy. This is equals to half or 50 percent. Or let us write half or 50 percent. So fraction loss is half and percentage loss is 50 percent. 